Hello, YouTube viewers. Now, another little demonstration of what I think is one of the most stylish looking vacuum cleaners I've ever seen. Certainly one of the most stylish that Hoover have produced. But unfortunately, although it looks good, it does have its problems. This is the Hoover Free Motion, available in bagged and bagless versions. And if you can get hold of one, which in the UK is very difficult, get a bagged version because they are leaps ahead as far as performance goes and noise level to the messy, messy to empty bagless. So here we have the Hoover Free Motion. This was in the UK the top model of the bagged version. It doesn't actually come as standard with this large turbo head, but it is a must really with this machine. You do get standard, the small turbo head, or as Hoover call it, the allergen remover. And it's a similar design to the head you get on SIBO cleaners, very, very similar. The standard head you get with the free motion is this. Now it's a nice looking nozzle, I'll give you that. It's nice looking and it's called the front and side clean and it's designed to clean close to the front and up to the edge. It's got large wheels on it and it's got a special swivel which is hard to show you when it's not connected but it actually does swivel round completely. It's quite stiff. Ooh, uh, misses. <coughs> there we are. So you can use it in that position to go into tighter spaces. Underneath, you've just got a single brush that pops up for hard floors. And you've got your thread picker just there. Onto the cleaner itself, we have telescopic extension which has a tele zoom feature, which I'll show you. Just take that off. Now, you may have seen there is a, a YouTube video on the free motion, and it shows the lady pulling this lever here and adjusting the length of the tube, but you can't actually do it without putting your foot. You need to actually hold the nozzle in order to use this feature, but it is a good little feature. It saves you bending, so you can adjust the height just by squeezing that. And that, that's, I think that's actually metal, you know. I don't know, it's, if it's cold to the touch, and plastic isn't, so that could actually be metal. While I'm up this end, um, I'll show you the hand, hand grip, which is remote controlled. You've got the on off switch, carpet slash allergen, which is full power, hard floor, whisper, and delicates. And that's quite a comfortable, comfortable shaped handle there. Underneath you have the awful three in one tool, which is a crevice tool, an upholstery tool, and a dusting brush in one. Jack of all trades, master of none though. It doesn't do any of the three jobs very well. You have a clear hose, which I believe is a weak point. I've um, read about many of these hoses splitting. And it's quite short, the hose. If this came with a better hose, better, tougher, longer hose, then I'd probably recommend it. I'd recommend it if you're interested in vacuums and, and collecting, because it is quite a stunning looking machine. Anyway, we'll take the hose off so I can give you a tour of the cleaner itself. Just squeeze either end. That does look a little bit weak too. I'd say that could possibly break. And you see there's two prongs there because this is a power hose and it connects into there. I don't know why they needed to make it a power hose because they could have used an infrared or an RF signal and kept the hose um, standard. I would have thought that would have been better and had a little battery in there to control it, but anyway. That's what they've done. Now, here we have 
Here we have the main features that Hoover wants to tell you about. Anti-odor HEPA washable filtration, turbo allergen remover, front and side clean, and silent power. Well, it's quiet, but it ain't silent. So to get into the bag compartment, you press this, and there is a little light here that lights up when you need to check the bag. Now that should just pop up, but this has been stored away for a long time, so it's a little bit uh, temperamental. Maybe after a few uses. Ah, oh, there we are. Reasonable sized bag in there. And it's a HEPA bag. Um, Anti-odour as well. So it's pure, pure filth, I think they call it. Oh, pure, pure HEPA. Uh, behind, in the dust compartment, you've got another filter, HEPA. HEPA filter there, which I believe it is washable, yes, because I just said it was. Should listen to myself. There we go. And you can't use the cleaner without the HEPA filter or the dust bag in place because little devices like this here and that will stop you. There's no way you can close that bag door without breaking it. So you have to make sure you have both filters in place, obviously. Now, let's get that back in. How do I do it? I've forgotten. I don't know, I should just push in. Let me just get in. That's it. Pop the bag back in place. Most difficult trying to do this. Try to look through view kind view kind of viewfinder to see what you're seeing and try and do what I'm supposed to be doing. So there we go. Uh, the back of the cleaner. You have these little rubber stand pieces, so when you have it on on its end, it won't scratch the surface and it stays secure. You've got parking bracket here at the back. This is this flexi wind is what they call a pull pull, you'll find this sort of flexi wind on the Sebo K series. So there's no actual button to rewind the flex. When you want to rewind the flex, you just give it a little tug and it rewinds. There's a mains on light there, which is, uh, as they call it, standby. Now you've got, despite the fact it's got two very big wheels and a swivel caster, it's not very maneuverable. Um, but I find all vacuum cleaners that just have rear, two rear wheels and a swivel aren't as manoeuvrable as, say, on the Miele and Sebo cleaners that have all swivel casters, either three swivel casters or four. Another parking bucket there. Uh, here we go. This is the model number TFB2282. Made in PRC, unfortunately. And it looks lovely, but... Although I've really taken care of this machine, it scratches and scuffs so easily. I mean, look at that. So you drag it over a threshold. I mean, if somebody bought this for normal use, it would soon look absolutely terrible, especially underneath. You have this carrying handle, which is recessed. So when you lift it, it balances the cleaner, which is nice, neat little feature. And of course you've got a bumper around the side here, both sides, and the wheels have a nice rubber coated tyre on so they shouldn't scratch any surfaces. What I do so like about this cleaner is there is no visible exhaust on it, but obviously there needs to be, so when it actually turns on this little flap pops up and the exhaust air comes out and then when it finishes it turns off that just pops down there. So that's the free motion. We'll give it a little demo and see how it performs. So I've put uh, on the carpet some rice, sugar, dog hairs and a bit of dust from another vacuum. I'm going to use the front and side clean nozzle that you get standard with the machine. It's plugged in and the little red light says it's ready to go and we're going to start it 
on the full power. So, again, it's picked everything up, all the visible dirt anyway, and it is surprisingly quiet. When I got this out from storage and turned it on, I thought I'd turned it on the lowest setting, but in fact it was on the highest setting. And as you can see, I'll turn it on. It's hard to tell over the uh, internet, but that's on low power. Quite quiet, then you've got Whisper. floor and full power. So, all in all, it's a good machine. It's let down by its hose that's too short and not very durable. So you can actually get this a similar model now. They do it. Um, the Silent Energy is a similar model to this, or there's a pure power cylinder machine, which has better hoses. So I think they're worth considering. The Silent Energy was a Witch Best Buy. It was. It isn't anymore. But there you have it. To me, that is a lovely looking cleaner, and it's sort of reminiscent of the design of the Sensortronic, so it's a lot smaller, of course, but I believe if Hoover decided to produce a Sensortronic again, if they produced it in this shape, or slightly bigger, with in, uh, a tool caddy inside and a power head option, I think it could carry the Sensortronic name quite well. Let's just rewind the flex. It's a bit curly because it's been stored away for a while. But it's not too bad. So there we have it, the Hoover Free Motion Allergy Care Bagged Vacuum Cleaner. If you can get one, you can get one cheap. They are a good machine, I think. If the hose lasts, and if you're not bothered about the finish being ruined after a few weeks, if you look after it, it's a good little machine. So, I'll see you later on.